Hello everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Ignore the streak for right now. Uh, here's basically Dad's key to start. Uh, here's basically how we're going to handle uh, streaks. 9S, 6S, L7 TV. Uh, we're basically going to, I'm going to play off camera uh, a lot because I'm following the theory of an Isaac a day keeps the doctor away uh, and just calling it a day with that. I'm going to play off camera a fair amount just because, you know, I enjoy playing Isaac, okay? Uh, I'm going to play it because I want to. That's that's the extent of the situation there. But, um, what the problem is, though, is I'll lose a fair bit off camera. I'll lose a fair bit on camera. If I get to a streak of five at any point, uh, I'll stop playing off camera. I If anybody knows how to import a 1001% save into one of the save slots so that I could have like another separate account to play on, one to do YouTube on. That would be beautiful. Uh, I can't like find any documentation about it online because you're technically not supposed to do it. So if you know how and you can send me a private message or something on Reddit and or uh, in the comments down below, please, 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 please do that. Uh, it would help out a fair bit. Okay, fair warning for this video. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today. Uh, you know, I'm right now going under the philosophy once again of an Isaac a day keeps a doctor away in the case of I really don't want to be sick. So please, Isaac, like allow me to not become sick and keep the doctor away. Uh, although, you know, keeping the doctor away could be as simple as just, you know, not going to the doctor. But that's beside the point. Um, feeling a little bit under the weather. I think it's just like... You know, the weather's starting to cool down a little bit, we're having some changes in the climate, uh, etc, etc, etc. Uh, let's hope it's not something too major. If videos, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, trying to get videos out daily right now. Uh, it's tough. I don't have a lot of time to record during the day. Uh, there's some exciting stuff coming. I mean, we're going to get back to the Town of Salem tutorials next week, uh, as well as... There's going to be some GeoGuessr with my girlfriend coming. Uh, that's exciting. And then back to more uh, little gamers glimpses. And you guys showed a lot of support on Party Hard, so we will pump out a couple more of those videos as well. Let's not take like 8 hearts of damage on Steven. This is kind of disappointing. Please also go with Steven and not Little St Oh my god. Uh, okay, well it is Little Steven. That's a problem. Let's go to our shop real quick. Because we have the money to do so. Uh, and possibly buy a bomb. Alright. That is really not a bomb if I'm being honest with you. Uh, we'll take Broken Stopwatch. And we'll take the Spirit Heart. Let's gamble on a secret room. No. Interesting. Uh, we do have one more battery charge. And... No we don't. Never mind. Let's just head down. We have a sun card. Uh, sun card will be useful on the next floor. Two tinted rocks that completely go untouched on this floor, which kind of blows, but, I mean, it's alright. There's Broken Stopwatch putting in some work. Mini boss. Uh, min mini pride is pretty bad. I feel like I'm obligated to fight Mega Satan since we started with Dad's Key. Um, but I'll be honest with you, the fact that our damage is pretty piss poor to start one could heavily persuade me into a shoop the whoop right here, even though he can't drop shoop the whoop. That's the virus. Or Anarchist Cookbook. I don't know why I thought he could drop shoop the whoop. Uh, don't, don't even say a word to me. I'm tired, okay? I didn't get very good sleep. I had a 9 a.m. class this morning in which I walked in, you know, basically was supposed to ask about a bunch of questions about the coding language Python, but I already know Python. I don't already know, like, all Python, but... You know, recursion, it's no different from one coding language to another coding language. Okay, that will get that uh, tinted rock. Beautiful. Uh, we lost our spirit heart in the process, so, you know. Who dares didn't win in that case, but that's fine. Here's the beautiful thing about coding. Uh, for those of you that have never experienced programming uh, in your life, and are fairly interested in it, let me give you some tips of advice. So, I have taken... Two classes on C++, and now I'm taking a uh, college course on the common. This is an interesting setup. Uh, a college course on the combination of 
Python, C, and Java. And while that's good and all, uh, three different completely different coding languages can mean, uh, that worked out beautiful, can mean some dilemmas in terms of, hey, Chaos Card is real interesting, could mean some dilemmas in terms of remembering what coding language you're in. For those of you that don't understand what a coding language even is, basically like how we have languages in our regular, uh, I really thought that would get that tinted rock. We will get this to get that tinted rock. Uh, just like how we have regular language in life, you know, English, Italian, uh, Spanish, French. Computers also have different languages that they can follow and read and understand, I guess is the best way of putting it. And Python is one of them, which I am learning. There we go, that worked beautiful. Too bad it didn't give us anything we really needed, but oh well, Kenna Nine Tails is good. Come in here. Uh, well, this is one of those situations where please, first of all, get these guys out of the way so I can actually take this deal and then take it. It's Brimstone. All right. <laughs> That's really all I needed. Uh, sure. We're in a little bit of a scary setup, uh, but obviously Brimstone's going to insanely help our damage on this run, uh, saying as it was really poor before, and now we have Brimstone. This alright, I'd say. Pretty decent. Just pop down that. I no longer care about, uh, those machines for the rest of my life, basically, because we have the dollar, we have a thousand one percent, in case you forgot. I like to remind myself daily that uh, I have completely finished the Steam Games achievements, and albeit one of the hardest Steam Games to get every achievement on, uh, I, I'm still in a happy state from that. But anyway, back to the coding, because I realized that I got off on a tangent once we got Brimstone there. Uh, basically a recursion, which one would define as, I suppose like, I mean if you're a coder and you're about to be like triggered by what I say here. Uh, I apologize, but it's basically like putting a loop into a function, okay? And a function, basically think of your, you know, basic math function where you have, you know, y equals x and you tell that to do different stuff. That's basically kind of how coding works. You have a function that you then, you know what, screw this. <laughs> let's go to our shop and let's buy the spirit heart so we don't die. Um, you have a function that you then tell to do different stuff. So you could have in a function, you know, x equals 12, and then do x plus 2, and it's going to output 14, because 12 plus 2 is 14. Uh, that's very basic, but you kind of get the picture. But what recursion can do is basically, you know, set a value to n. You have a variable n, and then you say, do this until n equals 0, and then each time you finish a rotation on n, you subtract 1 from n, so that you're then... Uh, you know, for n times, you're doing that thing that many times, and then stopping when you get to zero. It, it sounds a lot simpler, it sounds a lot harder when I say it out loud, it's a lot simpler than it seems, uh, but basically we had a full 50 minute recitation, which means we can just ask questions about that uh, today, and I already knew like all of it, so it was kind of boring. But that's okay, we probably should have just used Dad's key right there. Uh, how many of these are you going to give us exactly? Uh, and how did I actually push that out of the way? Alright, oh, two bombs back. Stellar. Let's find our item room here. Obviously we're looking for cool brimstone synergies. Does this open that chest? I don't think it does. So we'll just crack it. And a spirit heart is actually great here. I'm fairly happy we didn't get a deal with the devil. Uh, because we would not have been able to afford it due to our lack of HP on this run right now but I'll be honest with you I'm not too concerned in the future rubber cement does work with brimstone yes it does uh, this is the exact cool synergy that I asked for I mean if you want to give me the homing tiers also that would be great tech X stellar uh, technology just because it looks cool when it comes out I don't even know if it does anything that would be great we will likely go down to the hush fight on this run. I know that that's like, you know, wow, Tyler, you skip talking about boss rush, you're just going straight to hush. Uh, no, we will likely do the hush fight because of this chaos card. Uh, it basically just becomes a free shop as well as two free items, four chests, 
Uh, you can get a good bit of value from the Hush fight if you're not actually fighting Hush. Uh, and yeah, so we will likely do that. We'll try to do boss rush, boss rush as well. Uh, all we really need is a teleport card to show up sometime in the next two floors, and I would highly consider uh, keeping it and going to boss rush. We can keep two cards in our uh, slot here, and I think it's worth it to pick up a. I just wasted the bomb. Uh, it is worth it to pick up Abel. Why? Because it's an item, and items are good. Um. But yeah, we have starter deck, we can hold two items, might as well uh, find a teleport card, keep that with our chaos card, then we can do boss rush and hush in a limited amount of time. We should pick up that key. Let's not be lazy little pieces of crap. You know what, I want the coins too. I see a lot of people that like, don't like doing uh, this jump through spikes thing. My one friend that plays Isaac is like, why would you ever do that, there's so much risk uh, involved. Look, man, all you gotta do is, like, get super close, and then you go right through. There's no problem whatsoever. No secret room. Okay. I don't know, maybe that's just a me thing that, like, the risk factor is not even there on those. I mean, sure, if I'm on really low HP, I might not consider it, but if I, like, have two spirit hearts, and there's stuff in there, I'm going and getting it. There's no reason not to. Okay, this now makes our next shop and the future shops more valuable. Still no secret rooms. I probably should like actually look at the map instead of just walking into a room and popping dad's key in the hopes of a random secret room. Uh, it, there's like zero chance of one being in here anyway. We'll keep mom's pearl. I mean it's better than the poop at this point. Coming here juicy sack. Not the best. That could be our super secret room right there or our regular secret room now that I see the rest of our floor set up here. Tinted rocks, tinted rocks, tinted rocks. One right here. There seems to always be a tinted rock in this room whenever you get that room layout. Okay, we also... Do we have a guppy item on this one? I don't think we do. Uh, I don't know what I'm thinking in my head. Probably one of the runs I did last night while I was passed out asleep in my bed. Yeah, I can play Isaac while sleeping. You can't. Sucks for you. Okay, no deal with the devil, speed upgrade is fine, head down to the next floor here, still making great time, uh, boss rush definitely in the cards, hush for sure, basically, unless I re-roll this run and we get, like, soy milk marked, but also cursed eye, uh, then probably not, but I don't see us re-rolling this run, we got brimstone, so who cares? We will do all the things specified seconds ago and it will be fantastic. I'm gonna be that guy that sits here and complains for a second that I would like a little bit more damage. I would like it if I could do like a brimstone spray in a room and knock out multiple enemies even though I kinda just did right there but I'm getting a little greedy. I'm in one of those moods where when I'm not feeling well if Tammy's head showed up I'm taking it. Uh, I, I just don't care. I'll take the easy win. Serpent's Kiss is a great item. This is a good opportunity to get a teleport card. Never mind. Shop is valuable though. Come in here. Uh, we'll take Fanny Pack. We'll take the Spirit Heart. We'll take the card, which is the Chariot. Not super useful. Uh, and then we'll just go find our boss. This this floor was really nicely set up for us. Beautiful Troll Bomb. Don't care. Uh, this is a great setup. Blank Rune. Could be very good. Uh, I mean, we will take the Blank Rune and Chaos card right now. When in doubt, we could take Blank Rune in the Boss Rush. We could just fight Boss Rush uh, and then hope that it's an Awaz. Or Perthrow if we don't like the items in Boss Rush. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Come in here. Spirit of the Night sounds fine to me and then head down to the next floor. Okay. The red health helped out a good bit because we can just take it and then get rid of it immediately. That floor took about a minute, uh, maybe a little bit more, but basically just guarantees like for sure boss rush and if we can get a teleport card to take over blank rune, then we will. Come in here. I think this is worth it 
even with a limited amount of keys. And you know what? A damage upgrade, and if this is a teleport card, it's not. Just pop it anyway. Get some damage in. Worked out fine. Blasting cap is really not what we need ever in any situation. We could use chaos card on uh, that guy right there. No, we're not doing that. All right. Secret room. No. Okay, fair enough. Uh, secret room. Hell yeah. Come in here. More money just means better shop. Two black hearts means the ability to take a deal with the devil and feel happy about it. Slash two deals with the devil and feel happy. I think we would take the red HP here. So we will. It's now our second heart, which is a little bit stupid. And it literally moved in the uh, slot from one side to the other. That's interesting. Uh, you can't have the same item appear twice on the uh, right side of the screen. How about that one? Isaac facts and tips of the day. Does that really... Is that a tip? Not really. Don't see how that's going to affect your daily life while playing Isaac whatsoever, but sure. Super nice. Tuesdays are usually my laundry days, but I may be moving laundry day to Monday. Blood Rites is not good. Uh, I may be using moving laundry day to... Uh, you know, you know what? We'll use Perthra on Blood Rites. Maybe moving laundry day to Monday because there's like a bunch of people on my floor on Mondays, so recording's a little awkward. There's nobody on my floor right now. It's nice and quiet. No Nickelback blasting in the room next to us. Uh, and just overall a pretty nice recording environment. Plus I have like three hours on this day, which is why I planned on that being laundry day. But I could probably do Laundry Day Monday instead. That seems like a real good idea, actually. I'm glad that I'm just planning my routine out loud while playing Isaac to you. It's not the greatest thing in the world. Oh, thank you. Let's crack into those skulls. Okay, screw it. We never went to the shop. Did we? No, we never went to the shop. Uh, that's, that's wrong on my part. Go to the shop, kids. Go to class as well. Uh, get good grades. And be a fairly decent person in your everyday life. Okay. This is a good opportunity to get a card. Don't do this to me. No cards? Really? Nothing came in clutch? I'm not even positive Lumpicol works with Brimstone. We do still have Blank Rune, which could provide us with an Awaz Rune to get out of here. But let's come in first. Is there anything that we're like, oh hell yeah? Uh, Ipecac does not give a damage up to Brimstone. Blank rune. It's Ansu's. Alright, uh, you know what? <laughs> no reason for us to be here. Let's just- Oh, we have Dad's key, though. I forgot about that. We didn't even need a teleport. Uh, what do we really want? You know what? Little freaking Loki. My reasoning? Uh, we can... Get one step closer to conjoined? Maybe? <laughs> one of these days, I'll look up- Hey, Utero XL is also very nice. Uh, one of these days I'll look up and see if, uh, it actually, what the actual requirements are for conjoined. But firing three brimstone lasers is never, like, a bad thing. It'd be a cool synergy for us to achieve here. Basically just be triple shot but more spread out. Uh, and then if we, you know, God help me, pick up Tammy's head, then we're in an even better situation. I know there are spirit hearts in that room. I will go get them. Hello. Uh, let's stack up keys as much as possible on this floor as well. Temperance, judgment, judgment. You know what? Just blow you up for a better deal with the devil chance. And then continue on here. Do we care about this cursed room? I don't really think we do, to be honest with you. We have no Guffy items, uh, so why bother, really? I'm pretty sure Lump of Cold definitely synergizes with Brimstone, because our damage increased like tenfold. We have no bombs, we should probably take those. Obviously still doing hush, we just gotta like find our bosses here. And then we'll pray for a deal with the devil. I will do this, because why not, man? We got like insanely good damage. Look at this. This run is stellar. We can't get out of here. They should really make Dad's key allow you to get out of here. Admin patching into Afterbirth Plus. Speaking of which, Afterbirth Plus. We got some new information on that and uh, Welcome to Bumbo Land or whatever the stupid game is called, Legend of Bumbo. Uh, and first of all, Legend of Bumbo looks pretty dope so far. Uh, it's got a real nice intro screen.
from what they've teased to us. And I'm fairly excited. That's probably a game that I'm going to eventually pick up uh, when it is released, just because obviously I like Isaac. Uh, the developers of Isaac are going to produce good stuff. Uh, thus, it's like a bad if then else statement. Binding of Isaac producers, it's more like a the standard form of, of an argument. You know, if A is B and B is C, then A is C. You know, Binding of Isaac producers are good people. Uh, good people make good games, thus the Binding of Isaac uh, developers make good games. That's basically what I'm getting at. Uh, but I will probably pick up Legend of Bumbo as long as it gets halfway decent reviews, which I'm sure that it will. It's been teased so much that they wouldn't make sure... They wouldn't make it crappy. Like, it's going to be a well-put-together game. Uh, there's going to be a fair amount of poop, is what I've heard. Uh, and, you know, poop's okay. Especially in Isaac. Poop is okay. But we'll check that out. My one friend has started playing Rocket League. I've been playing so much Rocket League lately. Uh, because my roommate plays. And then two of my friends from high school both got it now on Steam. And I picked it up on Steam because I was like, I want to play Rocket League. My PS4 is sitting three and a half hours away. Uh, so I picked it up. If you guys want to see Rocket League videos, let me know down below. Uh, I know I did Rocket League with Dad for a while, but I could probably, I mean, if my computer can handle recording and playing, it is a little bit of a CPU intensive game. It's not terrible, but, you know, it's, it's still something. Uh, I'd have to test it, but if you want to see Rocket League gameplay, just tell me, uh, and I will put that out for you. I'll play with Antal and, you know, maybe my roommate or something, and put out some good content there. So, let me know. But anyway, after Birth Plus, uh, since I completely forgot that that was what I was talking about, uh, we have leaked that there's going to be two new trinkets in the game. One of which allows you to get shops in the womb and beyond, and then another that allows you to get treasure rooms in the womb and beyond. And that is actually, like, both super fantastic. That was something that I basically asked for when talking about uh, Afterbirth Plus, was the ability to have a shop in the womb that had items for a uh, higher price, stuff like that. Looks like we're going to get at least regular shops in the womb. And I'm sure after Birth Plus, that basically allows us to do whatever we want in the womb as well. This is kind of a crappy setup, by the way. We just yara our Chaos card. <laughs> Alright. Mr. Boom. This We struck out, like, big time here, in case you didn't notice. Chaos. Well, I mean, sure. BFFs, also kind of frightening, to be honest with you. Let's donate 17 cents. I've been, like, beating the crap out of my donation machine lately uh, on some of my runs uh, that I've done off camera. So we should probably inquire to not do that as much and donate a little bit. I know that you can fire Chaos card from below this guy and it wipes out both phases, I believe. But I'm just going to, you know, go for the large target that I'm going to be very impressed if I miss. Uh... Like so, and call it a day. I will go pick up the second Chaos card, though, since we are at it. And uh, we'll probably use that on Blue Baby or something. Who knows? I'll pop the sun on this floor so that we can just get through it quickly. Uh, I find that that is more fun anyway. Uh, and we will fight Mega Satan anyway, uh, since we have the damage to. So we're not going to be exploring the chest anyway. We're going down. Beautiful. Blow up this guy. Uh, or not. You know what? You get to live today. My own mistake grants you life. It's like uh, a twisted version of Hercules. Okay, continue right here. Monstro 2, Monstro 2. What would you do without a Monstro 2? I mean, this runs over, in case you didn't pick up on that. There's no possible way we lose this. Uh, albeit, if I have a stroke, then there's a chance, but don't see that being overly likely. And you know what? Let's get weird. You guys ready for this? We are going to do this. I'm blessed. I know. Let's try and get an item out of it. Okay, that was weird. Let's try and get an item out of this. Come on. Come on. I don't think we're going to get an item out of this. No. Well, that's a shame. Uh, we will... I mean, this is gonna hurt, no matter what. 
Yeah. Okay. Let's take Algiz and then head down. Sure. Uh, I was going to try to go to the dark room and then I looked at my HP and I was like, w why would I actually do that right now? So let's not. I thought that could be cool. Never mind. Just don't even talk to me. No secret room. Interesting. Uh, I already checked on that room. <laughs> I'm tired, man. It's been a long week. Okay, we can pop Algiz if things started to go poor here. This is a sped up Isaac fight because of uh, the broken stopwatch. But it's really like, we're totally fine here. Life is good. Head down to the next floor. Two hearts to fight Mega Satan. Why does that seem like a pretty poor idea? Maybe we'll get a good synergy. Guppy's Paw. Contract from below. The Bible. And an Attack Fly. I forgot we had Chaos, so that kind of confused me for a second there. Uh, can you Chaos card Mega Satan? The truths of questions uh, may get answered. What is this? Magician? Well, uh, do we want to go for the win or do we want to go for the, like, interesting? Fine, I'll go for this crap. I was going to say, like, I could bring, uh, okay, fire chaos card up into him. Does that actually just kill him off, or does it kill that phase? It kills that phase. Okay, so pop Algus, uh, and then we'll be done here shortly. This worked out fine. I was going to take the Magician in so we could have some homing action, but this is going to end this uh, pretty quickly anyway. Oh, if you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Every single like helps tremendously, so if you enjoyed, please actually leave a like. Make a YouTube account, like videos, people. It helps you out your... Uh, content developers tremendously. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.